Welcome to the lost episodes of the XWF. I'm Nasty Boy Brian Knobs. And I'm the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Hey, Knobsy baby, why don't we tell the great wrestling fans out there how the XWF actually got started? Well, right here you got two of the founding members along with Greg the Hammer Valentine. When we started this thing back in 2001, the state of the wrestling world was changing. Ted Turner's World Championship Wrestling was crumbling. There was a big void left in professional wrestling. For the first time in 40 years, there was only one wrestling organization out there, the WWE. So, therefore, the XWF was created. Not to compete with the WWE, but an alternative for the fans. Hey, Greg, Jimmy, and myself, we knew wrestling, but we never ran a wrestling company before. But with the help of a lot of friends, we got this thing kicked off the right way. You know what? You're right, Knobs. And you know what our philosophy was? We wanted wrestlers from the past, the present, and the future. Our motto was, no more prima donnas. You know, we just wanted a bunch of guys that love wrestling. So, we went after the biggest stars ever, including Hulk Hogan. You know, we talked to a lot of guys on the phone, and they laughed a little bit when they heard that me, Jimmy, and Greg were running our own wrestling organization. Hey, wait a minute, I'll speak for yourself. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, we got the right people behind us. Roddy Piper, Kurt Henning, me and Gene, the Road Warriors. We got them all involved. We got this thing off to a good start. You know what? So strap on your seat, oh, yeah. baby, because we're going to take you now to Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida, for the tapings of the XWF in your face. Universal Studios in beautiful Orlando, Florida. This is truly one of the great all-family entertainment theme parks in the entire world. Hi, everybody. I'm Mean Gene Okerlund, and welcome to the Universal Arena, the red carpet, and the XWF. A lot of speculation about the unveiling of this great organization, but this is our inaugural flight tonight right here. And by the way, we're going to be talking throughout the course of the program with some of the top international stars from throughout the world. So come along and enjoy the excitement and fun of the XWM. All right, thanks very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a program without precedent. This is the birth of the XWF. And hi, I'm Tony Schiavone, one of your commentators here at ringside. For the people of the XWF contacted me and they said, would you like to come to our program? We talked over about who would occupy this broadcast chair next to me. As you know, I've worked with some of the greats in pro wrestling. Bobby the Brain Heenan, the living legend Larry Zbysko, the governor of Minnesota, Jesse the Body Ventura. But the main reason I came back was to be able to broadcast beside this man. Welcome with me, my broadcast colleague for the XWF, ladies and gentlemen, Jerry the King Lawler. King. Tony Shivani, how are you, man? 
my man. Jerry the King Lawler. <laughs> what a pleasure it is to have you here. Welcome to the XWF, the very first program ever. And who is this? This beautiful lady with well, you. Well, uh, you know, you know the king. Uh, I'm an animal lover. I like, uh, I like cats. I like puppies, and I love kittens. And this is kitten. And I just wanted to. Well, you know, all the wrestlers always have these beautiful ballets. So, Tony, this is my gift to you and me. Oh. She's gonna be here with us. All right. If we have any needs during the show, she's gonna take care of them. How about that, huh? I'm liking this already. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, we are off and running with the XWF here from Orlando, Florida along with Jerry the King Lawler. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring to the ring another legend in pro wrestling. Here he is, Mean Gene oh, yeah. Oakland. Mean Gene. Listen to this voice. I love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great deal of pleasure on our inaugural voyage to introduce to you the XWF's Chief Executive Officer. Rena! Oh yeah! She's the boss here! Our CEO! Woohoo! Wow, King, what a boss! Oh, oh baby! My favorite puppies of all time! <laughs> oh, Rena! The CEO! Oh, be still my beating heart! Boy, if I can steal a line, and this won't be the first one I'll steal, but is she looking live tonight or what? Oh my gosh! Boy, with her running things, King, who knows what's going to happen here in the XWL? It can only be good. Oh, Gene's going to have a stroke. Well, I finally got a new boss, and I don't mind telling you, I think I like it. Welcome. Thank you. And welcome to everyone. Oh, thank you. Is she waving at me? Tonight, you are here to witness the birth of a dream. For many years, the wrestling industry has been run by sleazy, low-down egomaniacs. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> and its policies dictated by has-beens and never wores, desperately trying to cling on past their best days. Oh. It is a business that has grown strong by breaking the hearts, minds, and backs of its most valuable resource, the wrestlers. Well, things are about to change. The XWF is an even playing field. No more prima donnas, and no more politics. Whoa! No more prima donnas! What are you doing here, Tony? No, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. okay. Everyone has the opportunity to make it to the top. And to stay at the top, you have to be the very best of the best. You got the best CEO, I can guarantee you that. I am very proud to stand before you tonight as the CEO of this great organization. But the board and I realized to keep order and the XWF on track, we needed to enlist the services of someone who would provide the strength, integrity, and professionalism needed to make this a success. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you the commissioner of the XWF. You ready? The commissioner! Right oh my God! <laughs> Ronnie, Ronnie, Piper, you've got to be kidding me! As I live oh. and breathe. Rowdy, Rowdy Piper, the command. Well, not only does our CEO look good, King, I think she's making some great decisions early on here in the. The formation of the XWF. Look at Hot Rod. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You're beautiful. You don't mind if I get between you? Yes, I do. Yes. Well, Commissioner. Uh, wait. I have been to the mountaintop. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
My frat brothers, my fellow wrestlers, I've seen them in here, I've seen them crying, and I've seen them here dying for you right in the ring, and I've seen promoters take the money home and not give a damn about nothing. The XWF, the XWF is a league that is built for wrestlers that can achieve success through talent. Amen. Not, not through staying, living next door to the promoter. I've been an underdog my whole life. Gene, I've been under some dogs. I've been under some <laughs> I know about dogs. that. My whole life. I fought every promoter there was to fight. I stand in black. I'm back in black. I'm back here to put wrestling on track. No more egos, she said. No more prima donnas. I see celebrities out there like the great Jimmy Schnucka. Oh, what about Greg the Hammer Valentine is here? <laughs> Keep away. They scared me to death, but they did put my kids through college. <laughs> Jimmy Superfly Schnooker is second to none. Greg the Hammer, second to none. They're men. They're men. They're not somebody that laid in the sunbed, put baby oil on, and asked mommy to call the Federation to send a limousine. <sighs> Don't work that way. In your face is what it's called. And I will get in your face. I am giving a chance. I don't care if you're young, old, just as long as you're bold, you got some brains, and you'll come out here and give these people your heart. I like that. That's what it's all about here. I like it. Oh, would you look to this response from these great wrestling fans? 30 years! I've been doing this, I was raised. I am a product of wrestling. <laughs> I, I have the honor now of having a beautiful lady, somebody with some brains on top. Somebody with some brains <laughs> that's dealing with the money. Madame, you deal with the money, I'll deal with the slime. You got it. Till then, it's in your face. Independence Day. I declare this Independence Day a chance for each and every one to stand a chance. And stay tuned. The XWF continues right here. This is Gene Simmons. This is the base I use on the last tour. You better get ready to rock and roll all night and party every day. You have not seen what my demon can do yet. You may look like your next door neighbor, but he's not. No, he's coming to get you in your face! Introducing first, from Staten Island, New York, weighing 285 pounds, Pete Tito! Boy, are we excited, our very first match ever in the XWF King, and, and here comes Big Vito from Staten Island, New York. Oh, Big Vito, this guy is something else. You gotta say good things about him, he'll put a hit out on you. He's a tough guy, there's no question about that. And he's our first man out. Our very first match with all the celebrities here tonight. Here's David Hitler again. Who oh. is his opponent? From Atlanta, Georgia. Buff Bagwell. Wow, how about Buff Bagwell and Big Vito to begin things in our very first telecast with the XWF. And how about what we've heard from, from Kiss, from Gene Simmons, and Paul Stanley, giving their vote of confidence to their demon. I love it. Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, I love those guys, I love Kiss! That's what the, that's what the XWF is going to be all about! Alright, Buff's going to do his closing. Oh, what a magnificent body he has. He and Big Vito to get started now. Before the match gets underway, let's hear these comments from Knobs and 
sags the Nasty Boys. And Big Vito immediately tries to go to work quickly on Buff Bagwell. I would think very important, the very first telecast of the XWF for Big Vito to try to get what I guess people would consider an upset win over a Buff Bagwell. Well, I mean, this is this is a huge match for both of these guys. I mean, this is historic, history-making stuff right here. Buff Bagwell, the leapfrog, and sends him over. Big Vito hit hard. Vito up, but Vito's back down again. You know, I did say stuff. It's history-making stuff, and that's what Buff's all about. He Look is, at this. Drop kick. Wow, he is. He is the stuff. There's no question. And Buff Bagwell. I don't think he's ever looked better. I will tell you this. It's back in my dressing room. Kitten did something. Buff was the only one she wanted to get an autograph from. Now, watch your eyes. Don't, don't be looking too much at him. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, I can see why. There's an elbow from Big Vito. Oh, with that. He calls that the Mafia kick. And it leveled Buff Bagwell. We are here at Orlando, Florida, Universal Studios, the XWF Arena, along with Jerry the King Lawler. I'm Kelly Shivani for the very first XWF telecast. And Buff Bagwell into the ropes. I'm going to tell you, I hope Buff didn't take Big Vito too lightly here. Look at this. Not a two count. And Buff comes out in two. Well, Big Vito, determination, heart, perseverance, there is no question. He has it all. And, you know, I don't know if actually this would be an upset win. I mean, should Big, should Big Vito win this match? I don't know if you'd actually consider that an upset. This guy's got... Yeah, he's had quite a career. He's had a lot of success. Well, you make a good point. A former World Tag Team Champ and a former Hardcore Champ. But, but Buff Bagwell has been many times a World Tag Team Champ. Right, he's he's the stuff. Buff's the stuff. He's had a lot of success. And let's see. The fact is, whoever wins this will claim the very first win ever in the XWF. Oh, look at this. Over the top. Oh, no. We got a two. Wow, wow, what a shot. Right hand side of the head. Here comes Buff, firing back on Big Vito. Vito in trouble, back against the ropes. Buff sends him in, ducks, oh, yeah. body drop. Wow. Bagwell mounting to come back here on Big Vito, but can he seal the deal? Swing neck breaker left side. But Bagwell just draws from the fans. Uh -oh. uh, maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah. I mean, there aren't all his fans. Cover. Vito kicks out. Uh-oh. A little rougher edge to Buff Bagwell here this week. Wouldn't you say? I... Bagwell. He's going up top. Well, I think Bagwell is sort of, he's feeding off the enthusiasm of this crowd. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He was going to go up top. It looked like Jamie King, maybe that buff blockbuster. But Big Vito saw it coming, pulled the ropes, and now Vito's got the edge here. Uh-oh. got to be kidding me. What's he going to do? Not a superplex. Wow. From the turnbuckles to the ring. What a move that was. Took a lot out of both of these guys. Cover one, two. Bagwell's up in two. Very, very close. Don't hesitate now, Big Vito. You got the momentum. Bagwell tries to first ever win. Oh, tries to get to the ropes. Bagwell's up. Vito's down. Vito's stunned. Here comes the buff blockbuster on Big Vito. He connected. He covered. Oh, did. Yeah, he yeah, did. Here it is. Right it down in the history books. I'll write it down, King. Buff Bagwell, your very first winner in the XWF. No more prima donnas. Where you know where you're going? That is right. Yeah, it's right here, man. Here. Here. Mission. Knock. Knock like a man. Come on.
Yeah. There you go. Nice. What? Oh, buddy. Yeah. Hey. All right. Hey. Hey. These are the true tough guys. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What's going on, man? Uh, we were just uh, wondering if uh, you meant what you said about giving everybody a fair shake. No, yeah, yeah, I meant what I said. I tell you what. I tell you what. You know, I came through every rank, and I had to fight one guy at a time, one guy at a time. You guys are the most talented guys I've seen. Screws away, Thank you, screws, no, bar none, Thank bar none. So I'm looking at it this way. Instead of having to go through all those years of pain and toil, let's get us a cruiserweight champion. Let's, if, if you're willing, let's put all of you in the ring at the same time. Pinfall, submission, over the top rope, it don't matter. Last man standing, cruiserweight champion. Let's just start it there. Yeah, 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 good for you? Yeah, yeah, good. with anybody? Oh, I got it. Then boys, go Thank through you. it, man. Come yeah. on, I love you. All right, Jerry. The Pay attention here, King. Oh, what? We're talking oh, about the celebrities. Let's take a look at the celebrities that we hear earlier today, the formation of the XWF, including Carlos Colon from Puerto Rico. What a big day it's been as we go back to David Pinter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Tampa, Florida, Marty Giannetti. Marty Giannetti has had an abundance of success in not only tag team wrestling, but in singles competition throughout his career here in pro wrestling, part of the XWF. The comments you've just heard from the commissioner, Rowdy Roddy Piper, talking about that cruiserweight battle royal we're going to have in this telecast here this week. And now let's go back to David Penzer in the ring once again. And his opponent is accompanied to the ring by the mouth of the South Jimmy Hart. He stands six feet, ten inches tall, and weighs 340 pounds. This is Hell! Oh would my gosh, would you look in at the size of this monster? How does Hart always do it? How does he always come up with these kind of guys? I, you know him better than I do. I mean, Jimmy Hart. I knew. Jimmy the Hart is Jimmy. The map of the South Hard looks pale on the back of his jacket. He's managed some of the greats, some of the biggest in all of pro wrestling, and now he's got hail. Wow. It's going to be the biggest chest I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I need to tell Jimmy Hart that that coat looks like hail, doesn't it? Yeah. Marty Gennetti, as great as he is and as great as he's been, Looks like he's outmanned here, but let's see. We've said that about Gennetti before, and he's always seemed to, to have risen to the occasion. Let's see what happens here in the XWF against Hale. I get asked about Marty Gennetti a lot. Here he is right here in the XWF. He looks great. Marty looks in really good shape. Yes, he does. Like you said, I don't know how good anybody's going to look against this guy. You can see the effect that Jimmy Hart has had on Hale already. The, the confidence he's instilled in this big man. Well, you know, Hart's managed some of the all-time greats. I mean, he's he's managed Hulk Hogan, he's managed Ric Flair, he's managed Valentine, the Hart Foundation, Nasty Boys, King Kong Bundy. He even managed me, you know. Oh, yes. I do, and now he's got this monster. Hail. In the midsection, a pickup. It seems to me by sending wow. this, this monster in the ring, he's sending an obvious message to someone. But who is it? Jimmy Hart. It's coming in a very serious mode. A shoulder breaker now. Hale's not done. Oh, look out. Big leg drop. Cover one and two and three. Gentlemen, who would I? Massive arms and a chest. This hail is going to be hood of a lot here in the XWF. Those ain't too small either. And we'll have Hart. He is, Hart is so proud of himself. Oh and, boy. And really should be king. And we'll have more Whoa. from ringside at Universal Studios after this timeout. We're Maximum Force and we have arrived here at the XWF. With my brains, uh -huh. his body, and her beauty, we're going to be in your face.
Okay, time for Don Marie. Don Marie was knocking on your dressing room door. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a few facts about Don Marie. She had more hands on her than a doorknob. Oh, come on now. Fans know Horace Hogan quite well. The nephew of the Hulkster himself, Hulk Hogan, as we go back again in the ring to David Pinson. And his opponent from the United Kingdom, he is the British Storm, Ian Harrison. Yikes! Ian Harrison, six feet two inches tall, 300 pounds, out of Leeds, England. He has previously wrestled in England, in Europe, making his first appearance here in the United States with the XWF. He's a scary man. Wow, if you can win a match with a scary face, this has got to be the world oh, champion. You're not kidding. Wow. When he was a kid at Halloween, his family didn't buy a jack and they just stuck him in the window. Oh, please. Now, he, look at that face. Reports say he was, he had been an amateur freestyle wrestler in England ever since age six. At age six, he was wrestling, and Horace is going to try now to take the measure of this big man, and I mean big man, the British storm, Ian Harrison. That is huge. From a bodybuilder, prolific in judo. I mean, he's just a, he's a fighting machine, it looks like here. And Horace Hogan goes on the outside. Give me some shots to this guy's face. Look at this. Hey, take a look at those, oh my goodness. Whoa. Look at those guns, look at that chest. Wow. Okay, I'm scared. Yeah, you're not kidding. But Hogan's not, he comes right back to the ring. Yeah. <laughs> Ian Harrison with a snap suplex outside in. Mickey J there, he doesn't want to make a cover. What's he trying to prove here, King? I think he's just trying to scare people. Ow! Boy, the knee right to the skull. Massive back as well, but Hogan will, will not be denied. Horace Hogan. Taped up. Sent into the ropes. Wow. Over the top. He's got unbelievable strength. Plus, he's just unbelievably ugly, isn't he? <laughs> Whoa! Scoop slam and dropped him down hard. Yes! Showed off his quadriceps as well. He's going to show him the horse. Oh. Across his head to the side of the head. Look at the leg strength in this guy. It is over. A submission hold. I don't know what you call that, but it was all awesome. He's going to pop his head like a pimple. Harrison! I'm trying to be bad, and I'm back. The XWF is in your face. What about this pretty face? I'm a bad man. I'll tell you, Jimmy, we had something great started here. We had Gene Simmons of Kiss promoting the XWF. I mean, a lot of stuff was going our way. Hey, and what about the voice of WCW, Tony Schiavone, oh, yeah. teaming up for the first time with Jerry the King Lawler? Yeah. Hey, and, and what about our commissioner, our CEO, Roddy Roddy Piper, and the artist formerly known as Sable, Rita Mara? Oh, man. And then we had the young guys, the monsters, that the guy you were managing, Hale, and Ooh. Ian Harrison. We had a variety of wrestlers. Something for everyone. Hey, and what about the cruiser? Wait, you know, the battle oh, royal. Was that not man, good enough? That was Standing good. ovation. Let me tell you what. Shh, wait to me. Christopher Daniels, Kid Cash, and the phenomenal AJ Styles. You know what? We got to check this match uh, out. Yeah, we crowned our first XWF Cruiserweight Champion. Check it out. XWF wouldn't be complete without the Wiggle Man. I'm looking to get Wiggy and Jiggy here, because I'm coming to get you. The bell sounds, and we're back with action here in the XWF. King, we're going to crown our very first champion ever, the Cruiserweight Champion, to go out of here. And we've got a lot of Cruiserweights. Maybe you fans remember some of these, maybe not, but we'll try to decipher for you. The Tongue and Prince in the corner there, in the green. There's Psychosis. And that's Quick Kick, who just, the, uh, who just kicks Psychosis into the ropes. Oh. Chris Daniels, 
Just got nailed from behind by none other than Juventud Guerrero. Yeah, there's Juve. How about that? <laughs> These cruiserweights going to be flying all over the place. This is terrific. Oh, Danielson, Juventud Guerrero going at it. Meanwhile, double team the Tongan Prince. And it looks like Quick Kick has Kid Cash in the corner. That's Kid Cash hooking him right there. There's Kid Cash. Double leg pickup. Oh Look gosh. at this. This could be bad. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Got to be it for him. You're not kidding. It broke the back. Broke his neck that time. AJ Styles over in the right corner there with Billy Fives. There's Billy Fives, AJ Styles. Really hard to keep track of all this action. These guys are so fast. They're like lightning. And, and you talk about a historic match. Who's it going to be to be the first champion? Cruiserweight, of course, but the first champion crowned here in the XWF. It's a battle royal. <laughs> now there's one out already. Who was that? Was that Billy Fides that went out? Maybe not. Well, hang on a second. Who's that guy? That's Josh Matthews. Isn't he the, the runner-up of MTV's Tough Enough? Oh, it was. Right. Yeah, what is he doing here, King? That is him. Well, he's probably enjoying a, an evening here at the Universal Studios. I, yeah, I'm sure he's enjoying himself watching watching these cruiserweights. I guess wondering like the world is, who's going to be the first ever XWF cruiserweight champ? Uh oh, look out. Psychosis out. That's Billy Five C's out. Let's see who's left in the ring. There's Chris Daniels. And there goes, oh! There went AJ Styles up in the air and landed off the people. He's done. Now ahead of steam runs in and goes face first to the top turnbuckle. What man will be left of these four? Over the top rope, pin, submission. That's how you lose. I think I've ever seen anything like this. This quick kick is living up to his name. and just kick Kid Cash all the way down to the mat. Uh, Chris Daniels and the Tongan Prince go out of here. That kick's going all over the place, Tony. Now a chop. Wow. Rakes in the eyes from one quarter to the other. You would think two men would maybe try to work as a team momentarily. None of these guys are working together whatsoever. They are, they are not. Well, there's no. Look out. How did he avoid going out? Quick kick stayed on. In the side of the head. There's Kid Cash up on top. As a matter of fact, they're on top on both ends. Christopher Daniels thrown off on one side. Tongue and Prince holds on on that side. Oh, top. man. This quick kick is something else. He really is, King. You're right. He's up on top. He kick into the curb before you know it. Look out! Whoa. Oh, and he and Kid Cash. Oh, oh man! Collided midair. Midair collision is right. And look at the fans. Listen to him. You gotta appreciate a move like that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Daniel oh. stole. Daniels and the Tongue and Prince collide with Lariats. You're right, none kick. of these guys working together. Whoa! Quick kick! Well, he just cartwheeled himself right out of the ring. He's done, and we got three men left. Who's going to be the Cruiserweight Champion here in the XWF? Up. Look at this! Good oh. crash. Oh, he stays in. Two men left. Tongue and Prince goes out. It's up to Daniels and Kid Cash. Christopher Daniels, Ooh. scoop slam, bounds up. Oh, man. That was a pretty spectacular move, but he did not hit pay dirt at all. To the ropes. Ooh, look at that. Oh, kid crash, holds on in midair. Puts him down onto the mat. Referee counting here, tumbling through, back elbow. Daniels is climbing up top, a very dangerous place to be in a match oh. like this. And, and that's why. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner in the new inaugural XWF Cruiserweight Champion, Kid Cash.
no question, King. He survived that one. Kid Cash, cruiserweight champion, right here in the SWF. What a match. The young man, native of Virginia, who's worked his way up to the ranks through the state of Tennessee, into the Carolinas, is the first ever cruiserweight champ of the XWF. In a very proud of himself. You're not kidding, a very tough battle. Wait a minute, what's he doing? He's going over to Josh Matthews. What's he doing? He's bringing him backstage. Says he thought you got a raw deal. I'm going to introduce you to some boys in the back. There's your new champ, and we're coming back on the XWF. I'm Alice Cooper, XWF, in your face. Welcome to my nightmare. XWF, in your face. We're the XWF. We're in your face. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one from Ellentown, Pennsylvania, Najin Sags, the Nasty Boys. Oh boy. Now you never know what you're going to see here on the XWF. This is the first time together, King, after a four year absence. The Nasty Boys back together here on the XWF. Michael and the Todd the Sheen twins to face the Nasty Boys. Knobs and Sags. Tag team matchup here on the XWF. The inaugural telecast of the XWF from Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida, where we've had surprises repeatedly here tonight. Stars, superstars from all entertainment watching the return of the XWF and the, the words from Rena Mero really ring out here. No criminatus, no politics. This is all for the rest and glad to have you with us. Rena Mero as our CEO. Is that great or what? Oh, did you just see that? Yeah, they, I think they they still call that the pit stop, and that oh. obviously that would stop anybody. And these guys haven't been together for four years, and they haven't showered for four years either. Yeah. Down low, here we go. Oh. Sags, back of the head, hit hard. Uh-oh. Todd, Todd Shane with that suplex. No Ryan Knobs. Todd uh, Shane sends him out again. Now the tag here is Michael Shane in. The Shane twins against the Nasty Boys. Look at this. They're making quite a showing for themselves. Jerry Sags thrown in. You're right. They are. Well, they are powerful. You can tell. They're two strong individuals. The Shane twins. I think Knobs and Sags are actually, they're twin brothers from different mothers. Something like that. No way. Into the, into the rope tiers. Oh, the double team. That's it. That's got to be it. Right, Knobs goes down. You can stand the smell One, when you're covering two and a save by Jerry Sags on the other end. Okay, all four men are going out of here. Oh, head first. Oh, on the outside, you may have heard that. That was one of the Shane twins' head against the top of the steps. We have Brian Knobs in the ring, calling out for Jerry Sags. Well, Jerry Sags got his hands full on the outside of the ring. Well, once Jerry Sags gets the focus, once he gets oh, his eyes, just... oh, no. He hits hard, and he's down. Uh-oh. He is down, and Whoa. down goes Brian Knobs, cover one, two, what? Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, what? here is the Shane Twins. That is a tough set. Oh my goodness. I... The now these guys are the Shane Twins. The Nasty Boys have lost. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Wait, well, hold on a second. What's that music? And they're helping the Shane Twins up. Hawk, how long has it been since 
Hawk. We've seen Road Warrior Hawk. Oh, these guys look fantastic. Look at them. Wow. Listen to the chant of LLC. The Road Warriors have returned to pro wrestling together and a part of the XWF. We've seen you around this country from one generation to the other. Now we're here in the Big Ten, the SWF, and we are going to kick your butt. Go, Hawk, I'm going to squish the stinking bugs out of your stinking ears. The SWF, what a rush. The Road Warriors, as we take you now to Willie Nelson, along with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Congratulations to you and Hulk and all the guys on the new wrestling association. Start at the bottom, you go right to the top, don't mess with that in between. Well, we all believe in America and we all believe in free enterprise and we definitely believe in XWF. Good luck and go after them. ho In your face! So many years I've had to stand back and watch the guys with no passion, no talent get the big breaks. I've been lied to, Very cheated, jealousy, politically blocked, shoved in the back, driven underground, or no more. The learning curve has gone full circle. And for the first time I'm realizing if you get what you want, you're gonna have to just stand up and take it. XWF, get ready for the resurrection of Vampiro. This is my time. introduce to you a man who has voted manager of the century and is now a personal college sports agent oh. who won it all day will be the brain there he is the brain the brain in the xwf what else are they going to hit us with here king this is unreal superstars from top to bottom this is great. And he looks great, doesn't he? Bobby the Brain Heenan. He is my hero. For you to announce my uh, client, you couldn't do justice. I have to do justice. I am no longer a manager. I am now an agent. Uh-oh. And I'm an agent for probably the greatest athlete in pro sports today. He's the man that made Minnesota famous. He is the most accomplished wrestler you'll ever see. Ladies and gentlemen, stand up and give a big hand to the one and only Kurt Henning. Whoa! Kurt Henning! Bobby the Brain and Kurt Henning back together again. The Brain is Heenan's agent? This is unbelievable. What a, what a program this has been. King, it's been it's been great working with you. As long as you bring getting out of here, I'm not going to yes. complain at all. Absolutely, he's looking live. You haven't been so bad yourself, Tony. <laughs> and now, come in, Bobby the Brain in it together again. In our main event of the evening, it's going to be in your face. He's from Mexico City, Vampiro. Well, we talked about frightful, scary people we saw earlier, King. Well, we saw Ian Harrison, but take a look at this guy. This is a real sadistic nut right here. But he's a talented individual once he gets inside that squared circle, Tony. Don't take him lightly. Oh, I, you know, I, I've seen him. I've seen this man do anything to people. I've seen him, unfortunately, what he did to a, a wrestler about a year ago. He tried to end his career many different levels. Trying to set the man on fire. Oh, yeah. He's scary. So who knows what he'll do. And this is a this is a case of a guy who will do anything against a guy who is a classic wrestler with 
maybe one of the greatest managers ever, voted the manager of the century. You you heard what David Penzer said. Yeah, but you heard Bobby the Brain himself say he's no longer a manager. He's an agent. He's an agent. He cuts deals. He maybe, represents his client. Maybe that means he just gets a bigger slice of the pie. You think so? Probably. The difference probably. <laughs> between <laughs> manager... The brain, that's exactly what it means. So now the bell rings for our feature event here at the XWF. You are part, fans, of the inaugural telecast of the XWF. Oh, there's the agility of Vampiro, which always lends one to wonder why a man with such talent would resort to such low blows and low tactics in his career. This Vampiro's not exactly right upstairs, I'm telling you. That's scary. He may just be out on a day pass right now, I'm not sure. The agent, Bobby Heenan, Bobby the Brain Heenan, helping Hennig back to his feet. Vampiro. And Hennig. Wants, I need to talk to the Brain Heenan. My agent's never towed me off. <laughs> really? No. The end of the ropes. Oh, wow. That a shot. Close to a low blow right there. The knee left by Hennig. Into the corner again. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hennig, fans who you've been watching him throughout the years in pro wrestling, you know he is multi-talented, has a variety of moves, has great perseverance. He's getting towed off again. Man. Well, you got have you got an agent? No, I don't have an agent, but you got kitten here to rub your shoulders. Oh, so that's right. That's probably better than someone towing you off. Get, get a towel. <laughs> One. Two, and a two count. Here goes Vampire off top. I can assure you, Kurt Henning. Whoa, oh, look at this. Wow, what a talented performer he is. He connects, and he can win it. No, Henning's out in two. And with Bobby the Brain as his agent, they've got some big plans here in the in the XWF. Look at, they're always conferring. Hey, wait a minute. Right, what's Heenan what's doing the over there? Doing? There you go. That's the brain. Don't he's, do got, he's got oh, some nuts or something. Check this out. Brain, look out. It's Roddy Piper, the commissioner. Oh, oh! Wait a minute. He had hit it. He nailed hit it. Wait a minute. Wow. Oh, and Van Piro put the nail in the coffin. One and two. Hold it. It's on. Ladies and gentlemen, wait a minute. Van Piro. That's what I call a hands-on commissioner. And he did his living. What a telecast this has been, ladies and gentlemen. Our inaugural XWF telecast here from Universal Studios. I and got a feeling, Tony. Things are just getting started. And fans, we're out of time for Jerry the King Lawler. I'm Tony Schiavone for the XWF. Wow, oh, Jimmy, what a start for the XWF. One hell of a battle royal. Kid Cash, our first XWF Cruiserweight Champion. And our good friends, Willie Nelson and Alice Cooper, stopping by to say a few things. Hey, old feuds rekindling the Road Warriors again after the Nasty Boys butts. But, unfortunately, Road Warrior Hawk and Kurt Henning are no longer with us. They will be deeply missed in the wrestling world and be loved by fans all over the world. They were friends, true friends with me and Jimmy Hart, and we will never forget them, and neither will the XWF. Boy, you're right. Kurt and Hawk will never be forgotten. I'll tell you that right now. Hey, listen, thank you guys for watching the first episodes of the XWF, so we've got a lot more to come. I'm the Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. And I'm Brian Knobs.